What is a badger mile? Okay, so as you can see, there's no clear definition of a badger mile or no clear article that's like, this is the badger mile on the internet. Which is kind of weird because everything is on the internet, you'd think. But apparently, some of this running, like underground running, secret, college running, I don't know, stuff does not exist on the internet. So, I'm here to come and bring you some important information on the Badger Mile. So let's start with the back history and then I'll get to the practical applications of what it really is. Okay, so among high school and college runners alike, it's way too common for people to be running way too fast on their easy days. And you'd think that running faster on your easy days would be a good thing, but in actuality, it's super detrimental to your training because, well, you need the time for your body to recover and you're just leading yourself to injury and burnout if you're running hard every single day. And so that's why a guy named Jerry Schumacher invented the thing called Badger Miles. And it's called a Badger Mile because he implemented this at the College of Wisconsin and so their mascot is the Badger and so it's a Badger Mile. So basically, I'm not doing Jerry Schumacher justice because he is one of the best coaches of all time. While he was coaching at Wisconsin, he took his team to cross country nationals and had them place either first or second six out of the 10 years he was coaching, which is unbelievable. And on top of that, he is now the coach of Bowerman Track Club. So just consider this when you're thinking about Badger Miles and let's get back to the video. So I'm gonna get some paper out and explain to you how these Badger Miles work and how they made his team so phenomenal. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why I was at home and then now I'm here, well basically I was evacuated due to Hurricane Florence, but now I'm back, so let's finish the video here. So this is how the Badger Mile works. Basically, you take how many miles you want to run, you multiply it by a 7 minute mile, and then you get the time that you have to run for. And you're not running for miles at that point, you're then running for time. And that's the general premise for all Badger Miles. And so the general idea behind this is that you don't worry about how fast you're going. So in the end, you may run 10.5 miles or you might run 9.5 miles, just depending on how fast you actually run. But in your log, it'll be 10 miles no matter what. And the reason for this is so that you can relax, you can ease your brain a bit, and so you don't go too fast. Because if you're thinking about pace, if you're thinking about, I need to hit this amount of miles, then you might run too fast and that was the whole point of the Badger Mile to slow down the runners at Wisconsin and to bring them back on their easy days but it's not as simple as always multiplying the amount of miles by 7 minutes because there's a slight catch to this and it's that you always have to round up so let me show you another example so then you'll fully understand so basically in this example we're running 4 miles which multiplied by 7 minutes is 28 minutes that's incorrect Basically, what you want to do is round up and make that 30 minutes. So as you can see, the rule here is to always round up. I'm going to move on to a couple examples to make this extra clear. If you want to run for 21 minutes, then it's going to become 25 minutes. And then if you want to run for 7, that's 10. And by this point, I think you get the gist. 49 minutes rounds up to 50. Boom. So as you can see, you always round up because if you're going out for a four mile run and you are then going for 30 minutes rather than 28, it slows down the pace from seven minutes per mile to 7.30. And being as the goal is to not actually run seven minute miles, it's super critical because then it eases that stress in your mind. So if you are feeling bad, you don't have to worry about going fast because you'll end up getting more mileage than you expected. And this is a really good thing. So if we take a look at a schedule, you can see that you'll add up extra miles without even knowing it. Even though your log will say 55 miles, you will actually be running like 58.6 or whatever your mileage is. So over
over the past two weeks, I've implemented badger miles and my easy runs and my double runs. And since I love to run on the trails for those, it's been really nice because a lot of times I would worry about my GPS and stuff like that. And then now just being able to run off time has helped me just let go and accept the pace that I'm running. And I've actually seen a pretty big improvement in my workouts, just feeling better, a little bit fresher and feeling healthier. And so I definitely recommend giving them a try. And for that reason, I made a spreadsheet and I'll link it in the description, but basically it has tabs at the bottom where you pick your easy run pace and then from there it'll pull up a chart for however many miles you're gonna run the time you're supposed to run and so I hope you enjoy definitely use that chart let me know how they go in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video as usual live happy be healthy see ya